Okay, my outstanding friends, we are going to be talking about geological anomalies, which are features or structures that depart from markedly from the surrounding environment with respect to composition, texture, and genesis. In other words, totally unexplained. Okay, my friends, shocking but true, this is a bilipid membrane, similar to that. This is real, this is artist rendition. I'm going to show you a real one as a geological anomaly known as mud fossils. Here it comes. All right, that is a bilipid membrane. This is stomach tissue with a guy walking on some right there. It's pretty large. This is a very large bilipid membrane, and this is where all the lipids are, and this is the membrane phospholipid surfaces. And this is stomach tissue, or could possibly be an intestine, but this is vermilion cliffs. This is from a guy that has a ton of excellent, excellent pictures, and I'm going to show that, and I'm going to highlight his work. All right, this is the guy right here. Uh, I think you call it Brate Thomas. I don't know him. I have a friend that knows him, says he's a nice guy, and he won't mind me highlighting his work. And I tell you, he's got some shots that will knock your socks off. Absolutely fabulous. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Stay tuned. He's got tons of them. Okay, Yale calls these anomalies exceptionally preserved soft body creatures during this Etocarda biota and they also say that it may have been some sort of failed evolutionary experiment because it preceded the fossils that anybody else knows of. And we're going to look deeply into this. You see here it says they lived before the evolution of shells, teeth, or bones, which is not necessarily true but they were prior to anything that anybody has known about since mud fossils were discovered. 